What's up, everybody? I got my shades and my cap on today with my apron. I want cheesecake, but then I want peach cobbler. I want cheesecake. I want peach cobbler. So you know what? <laughs> Let's do a peach cobbler cheesecake. And that way, that'll take care of both of my taste buds. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm about to show y'all how to do a peach cobbler cheesecake right quick. We're going to do a simple cheesecake. I'm about to show you the ingredients in a few minutes. Be right back. A cheesecake. I got one graham cracker crust. I didn't feel like making my own graham cracker crust, so I bought one. You want to make one? Make one. Crush your graham crackers. Get some butter and put them in your spring pan. But we using this for now. So we got that. What else I got over to my right right here? I got some heavy, let me see, I'm gonna, got some heavy whipping cream. Not gonna need much of it. I have um, a half a cup of sour cream. I have two tablespoons of cornstarch. Is my camera in there, y'all? I need me a camera person. Being blind and cooking is coming too much of a job for this to be fun and a hobby. <laughs> right here, two eggs. Two eggs, one cup of sugar. And then my bowl I already got right there is um, room temperature, two uh, eight ounce things of Philadelphia cream cheese. So that's 16 ounces. Now y'all know 16 ounces is a pound, for who didn't know. All right, let's get the mixing. And vanilla abstract, pure vanilla abstract. You're gonna need two teaspoons of that. All right. All right, first thing you wanna do is cream. Um, take your mixer and cream up this cream cheese. My dog's about to start barking, y'all, because they don't like the mixer. So let's get this good and creamy. <laughs> Right, hope y'all can see in my bowl. I got that all good and creamy. Let me scrape my sides down. Got my sides scraped down. Now let's add in. Let's add in that one cup of sugar. Gotta sweeten that cream cheese, and you know sour cream kind of bitter too. And let's add in those two teaspoons of vanilla. Pure vanilla abstract. All right. Put that mixer back in there. Let's get busy, baby. All right. Got that all mixed up. Now let's put in about, I say this is about mm, maybe two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I told you I'm not going to need that much. This is how I make my cheesecake. Heavy whipping cream. Sometimes I just go by what I was taught. And let me put in this half a cup of sour cream. I'm gonna just spoon it in there. All right. All right. There go our half a cup of sour cream. All right, let's mix that up. Then we're going to put in our um, two eggs. Look how nice and creamy that is, y'all. Look how nice and creamy. All right. Let's put egg number one. One egg. No shells, baby. I don't play like that with no, I don't play with no shells. And let's put egg number two. Crack. Catch it like that. Come on, open up. Don't make me shame on this video. Egg number two. No shells, baby. I ain't playing the shell game. I ain't playing the shell game tonight. <laughs> All right. Let's mix those two eggs in. All right. Last but not least. Let's add in those two tablespoons of cornstarch. I like to just sprinkle it even in there. Like that. All right. And that's it, y'all. Mix this up, and that's your cheesecake batter. And 
that go your cream. I'm sorry. That go your cheesecake batter. Okay, I got my oven preheated to 325. And let's put it in the graham cracker crust. Then we can work on our peach cobbler filling. And we're going to let it bake for about an hour. Okay. All right, let's put it in there a scoop at a time. Look how creamy that is, y'all. We're going to let that bake until it get a little jiggly in the center. And you're going to let it sit for a while before you take it out the oven. All right, got it in the pie crust, got it leveled off, and I also got this tin pan in my metal, I mean, I'm sorry, in my clear pan dish. All right, let's go put it in the oven. All right, in the oven it go. I'll see you in an hour, buddy. <laughs> okay, it's been in an hour. Look at that. I don't know what it looked like, but I know that it's, look at that. All right, nice. Look at that, y'all. Look how pretty that is. Oh, and it smells so good. It smells so good. So now we are going to let it cool completely. And uh, we're going to put the, um, the peach collar filling on top after it cool. Then we're going to chill it. So we're going to let this cool off right quick. Then we're gonna let it get. Um, then we're gonna chill it. So we'll probably eat. I'll probably cut this and eat this tomorrow, cause I want it to chill overnight. Look at there, no cracks. Tell me, I don't know what to do with a cheesecake. You don't see no cracks in that cheesecake. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right. Let me show y'all the. Uh, let me show y'all the peach cobbler uh, filling. All right, we're using fresh peaches. That was about three or four peaches that I bought the other day. They're not too sweet, but they're sweet enough. So I got them cut up right there. Right here in my pot, I have about four tablespoons of butter. I'm going to say four tablespoons. Okay. Um, what else I got? Let me go from right here. Right here, <clears throat> I have a half a cup of water with um, two tablespoons of cornstarch. Um, right here, my little things right here, I have, uh, what's that? I got like an eighth of a teaspoon of um, salt. I hope I'm in there. Yeah, salt. I have a teaspoon of cinnamon. Right here, I have um, uh, um, one-fourth cup of brown sugar. Right here is one-fourth cup of um, white sugar. Right here, you know what that is right there? That's nutmeg. Yeah, I'm going to grate my fresh nutmeg. I'm not going to, uh, yeah, I like it grated. It's more, more potent, no stronger. And what else I got here? I got a half a little lemon to squeeze in there. And look, the secret weapon, peach palmasan. Whenever I do a peach cup, I always put a little crown raw peach or palmasan peach. It enhances that flavor. All right. All right, there go my butter heating up, y'all. Let's go and add that brown sugar. Let's go and add okay, and white sugar. All right. Stir that up in there. We gotta make our own. We gotta make our own juice since I didn't use no canned peaches. In there. Okay, let me go and add um I guess I wanna add uh, let me go and add my little salt to it. There's no particular order. Add my little salt, add my little cinnamon, add that in there. Stir that around. Stir that all together. Okay. Let's add on. Um, um, let's see. What else I want to add in there right now? Um, 
me go and add my peaches. I can go and add my peaches to it. Oh, let me get that spoon out of there. Add my peaches. Mm -hmm. Add my peaches in there. Once I add my peaches, let's go ahead and add, um, let me go ahead and squeeze, squeeze my last half a lemon in there. I took a teaspoon or so of lemon juice. Put right. that squeeze in there. Mm -hmm. All right. Put this in there. Let me go ahead and add uh, a little vanilla abstract. Let me see. See, I pour it on my finger. I know how much I'm pouring. So, a little vanilla abstract. Let me go and add me a little, a little peach parmesan. Not that much right there. Alright. Let me stir this in. Be right back. Alright, that's great. Some of this fresh nutmeg in there. Before I forget. Let me go over here. And let me. Looking like fresh nutmeg. The one that's in the um, bottle is good, but we grate it fresh. And let me tell you, I don't want really to grate the whole thing. I just want to grate. Um, I just want to grate about half. You know, nutmeg is real strong, but that flavor can't be denied. That's about half. Let me do about a few more. All right. That's enough right there. That's enough right there. All right. Still there. It ain't gonna take long for my peaches to get soft because they were already kind of soft already. Yeah. Right, right there. And what I'm about to do now, let me stir up my cornstarch and water. I'm about to add just a little bit of this cornstarch and water to thicken it. So, just going to add this about that much. Now, now, let me let this simmer and get thick. And that's gonna go on top of our cheesecake. All right, let me not stir it too much. I don't want to break up my peaches. All right, y'all. Yes, yeah, thickened up in about ten minutes. And um, let me let me turn it this way. And I'm just gonna shake it. I see that? I'm about to take it out the stove. It has thickened up. Let it cool off just a little bit. Y'all see that? I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit and we're gonna place it on top of our cheesecake. And let's see what's next. Oh, the fresh peaches taste good. I just taste one. Oh my goodness. Pure goodness. All right, y'all, look at that. There go my peach cobbler filling. Y'all can see that? There go my peach cobbler filling. That go my cheesecake. And I like how the cheesecake, see how the cheesecake, it, it, it had rolls and then it sink down a little bit. And right here, I made some graham crackers um, crumble. So they ain't number two graham crackers, some melted butter, a little cinnamon, and a little sugar. Yeah, that's gonna go on top. 
All right, so I'm about to put the um, about to put the peach cobbler on top of the cheesecake. All right, I got my peach cobbler filling on top. Now we're about to put some of this um, graham cracker crumble on top. All right, got the crumble on top. I'm about to put it back in the oven for about five minutes, and it will be done. We're going to let it cool off and put it in the refrigerator, and we're going to taste it tomorrow. Bro. Let's get it in here. Let's get it in here centered. All right. All right, there we go. Just take it out the oven. Going to let it cool. Then we're going to put it in the refrigerator. Let it chill for 24 hours or 12 hours, and we're going to cut it. So I will give y'all a taste test tomorrow, and there go my peach cobbler cheesecake and i can't wait to cut it all righty i can see it y'all just took it out the refrigerator it been chill for 24 hours look at it there it go there it go so i'm about to do a taste test right quick about to cut it all righty Look, y'all, and cut me a piece right there. See, I cut that pie. Look how it look. Look how it look inside. And there go my piece right there. Y'all see, I'm about to give y'all a taste test right there. All right. I'm about to stop. All right, y'all. Let's let's taste this. Let's taste it. Mm-hmm. Taste it. Mm-hmm. Baby, this is good. Peach cobbler cheesecake. Now, yeah. I gotta make y'all some. Y'all see, I got my 4th of July hat on, huh? Yeah, I'm about to go to Seacoast State Park and fish <laughs> and bring this pie. All right, y'all. Y'all see me make it? Go make you some. It's good. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>